Hey you guys, this is Everything Tech and uh, after the disaster with Windows Millennium it is now time to try out Windows 2000 so I still have the same setup only the one thing about Windows 2000 is that it is bootable so I do not need to copy it to uh, you know the drive so we still have the, the drive lying there all the other drives are detached. I have the sleds open. Go in there. That's it. And let's see if Windows 2000 will work on this machine. So I already took the liberty to uh, remove the 5 gigabyte partition uh, uh, on the uh, SSD, so the SSD is now fully unallocated again. So let's see what this does. Windows 2000. Oh, I remember something about Windows 2000 and special drivers needed for SATA, SATA connections. Let's just see what it does. Do I have my camera? So, oh, wait a second. Yeah, this suffices. Windows 2000. Uh, I know uh, Windows 2000 is based on the Intel kernel, while Windows Millennium was actually not. Um, I don't know if that will make any difference now. Mm, the yeah, the SSD is uh, unpartionate, so it can be formatted as NTFS. Yeah, let's try it. Oh, okay. So this takes a while. Uh, I can get the Christmas tree. Oh, wait, it's only 9 April. Mm, too early. <laughs> <laughs> Setup is starting Windows 2000. Okay, come on. <laughs> you know, I want so badly some results today after all that hard work and laboring. <laughs> nah, just see. Let's see what's happening. To be honest, I would be happy if I get my computer back uh, in working order. It's always kind of tricky to mess with your main game working PC. But I was just curious if one of these older systems would even work on a machine like this. So it is already taking a lot of time. So, to show you that I'm not like, uh, you know, time is progressing. Mm -hmm. Time is progressing because, yeah, yeah. Well, at least it's blue. It's nice and blue. <laughs> But it is stalling too long for my opinion. Do I make any sense? Let's give it some time. Well, if this does not work, then it will be a very short video. Um, but not YouTube, um, you know, worthy, actually. I mean, the Windows Millennium, it was like, you know, goofing around. And I came to a point that I came to the installation option. 
and then it froze completely it was completely going bonkers but you know the whole process of getting there is was like interesting but this is not really interesting this is rather like uh, So what do I have more in the map uh, to probably install? Well, not much actually. Uh, let's see. What do I have? M what do I have more? Um, which is also old. Not only because I can. Of course, I can install Windows Seven on this machine, but that is boring. Um, Let's see, do I have something? I have another Windows 2000 CD over here. I see. See, it's uh, another Windows 2000, but that's Windows 2 2000 UK Pro edition. Um, I thought I also had like... Uh, where did I see that CD? Where is it? Where is that CD? Where is that CD? I thought I saw it. I see it. No. Oh yeah, here it is. How about this one? Windows NT Workstation. So it's obvious by now that Windows 2000 uh, does not, uh, you know, wants to uh, comply because it's like it wants to take 2,000 minutes uh, to install in six years to finish so um, okay let's try this one first the Windows 2000 UK the Pro Edition I am not sure if this is also the Pro Edition but just you know let's try it I will get this one out because this one only says Windows 2000 nothing more so we you know Throw that away and we put this one in now let's try it make a reboot why does ctrl alt delete never work when i need it i need to hold the power button yeah then it shuts down thank you okay here we go again power on So for everybody who does not know, that's the uh, Morse code for SOS. <laughs> the overclocking failed. What about overclocking? Oh man. <laughs> I'm not even busy with overclocking. Well, not busy. It is overclocked to a certain degree, but it did not give any issues so far. Okay, well, let's dial it back a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's enough. Okay. So the uh, tapping uh, code I just did on the F8 key, that's the official SOS code. If you are trapped somehow and you want to let other people know that you need help, you tap twice followed by tapping three. So tap, 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 tap. So that's the uh, SOS Morse code. Oh, I see my telephone is already coming to the uh, 10 minute mark. Here we go again. Okay, let's see if this one will start. Windows 2000 uh, on another kind of uh, 
CD-ROM. Let's see how far this one will come. It does appear the same. The, my system does not even have uh, IDE connectors, even if I wanted to, I cannot even install an IDE hard drive uh, into it. The motherboard does not have an IDE connector. Okay, now we start the wait again. Where is that Christmas? Uh, never mind. It's still 9 April 2019. Let's yeah, let's install a, a 19 year old system on a well, how old is my computer? It's like three three years maybe. It depends on which uh, part uh, you take. I think my motherboard is already. Um, it's from the Haswell generation, so the processor is also a, I think, a fifth generation processor. The uh, i7 5820K, I already have it like three years or something like that, so time flies. But the strange thing is, if you want to buy this uh, processor, it still costs 400 euros, it's like insane. The downside to this processor, but yeah, it's it's what is what you call downside. It only has 28 pi PCI Express lanes, so I have a GTX 1000. <laughs> okay, this is probably due to the fact that it does not detect any, um, you know, um, EDA devices. In the BIOS, uh, um, the setting is set to EDA, so so this does not work uh, in this case. So let's turn it out. So Windows 2000 Pro is also a no-go, which leaves us with the only thing that I can think of is Windows for NT 4.0 workstation and I doubt that this will do anything better but you know for the fun part of this video we try it anyway can I control delete it no of course not and I don't have a reset button on my computer either so power here we go again for so many times The only thing I hated about my motherboard is the uh, boot time for any BIOS to show up. Again, overclocking failed. What the? Uh, what the? Uh, how can it say overclock? Maybe it has something to do with the fact it 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 got stuck. I don't know. Um, I don't think this is really an issue. Actually, to be honest, I I I think I think um, no 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 no. Mm. Okay. I think that is just uh, the result of uh, the freezes of uh, Windows 2000, I think. So it says overclocking failed. Now I even overclock it theoretically even more from 35 gigahertz um, 
no, wait a sec, wait a second, to a multiplier of 35 to 4000. So it's running then now on 4 gigahertz instead of 3.5 gigahertz. You see, no problem now. Okay, let's try to do this, this one. Windows NT then. Okay, last chance. If this does not work, I, I quit. I quit, I go home. Oh, I'm already at home. Okay, blue screen again. <laughs> T D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D Yes, 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 yes. We tried so much uh, and we accomplished so little. Of course, I could always, you know, I could always try to uh, to install Windows Millennium on one of those two uh, older things. Uh, what is that? Hall no found hall this hall DLL requires an system replaced with the correct. The system is halting. Okay. So we have it, uh, guys. Uh, I do not have anything more to do. Uh, I don't have any any other, you know, operating system that will uh, work and that will be interesting enough to do this video. So yeah, to be honest. Um, Yeah, to be honest, uh, I think uh, it's time to uh, to quit because uh, it's obvious now that you cannot uh, install Windows Millennium, neither Windows 2000 on a modern system. Maybe you can install Windows 2000 on a, a less modern system with at least uh, IDE connectors, but uh, my system does not have. So, uh, this concludes everything, and um, I will um, restore my computer to its former glory, I hope. I hope I did not mess up anything. And, um, yeah, guys, uh, thank, you for, uh, thank you for watching, and, um, yeah, until, uh, until the next time. And if you, by the way, if you have any suggestions uh, about... Uh, try to install this on that or something like that maybe uh, you know another type of system on this particular SSD I mean it's pretty easy to just take out that uh, the cables from the, my uh, own SSD and plug in that one and try to install a complete a completely other uh, system on it uh, maybe something non Windows but to be honest, I have no experience with non-Windows systems, um, so I know there are a lot of uh, other OSs, and I also know that Druaga, Druaga One, Druaga, we, we all know Druaga, I guess, uh, also tries to install a lot of those systems. But I've seen his videos, and most of those OSs, some some of them are really complicated. You know, I see him doing typing in all kinds of stuff and things I'm thinking like oh my gosh and those systems supposed to be user friendly no well to be well in all honesty I think Windows is the most user friendly operating system there is okay let me know if you have any ideas uh, thank you for watching subscribe uh, to the red button here if you like this video and um, all comments and suggestions are welcome I will always reply as much to anybody who has any comment at all I will always do and uh, okay until next time see you guys bye bye